I'm going to talk for a minute about the objects which give the website its name, which is primary coil. This is a primary coil. In engineering, primary coil refers to the input coil of a transformer. In this context, primary coil means literally first, the child's first coil. Now you can see how simple this is. It's a plastic bobbin that's been drilled through the center and through those holes I've slid a mini wooden dowel. Wrapped around the bobbin is copper magnet wire, which is copper wire coated with lacquer to insulate the coils from each other as they wind around the bobbin. Now when you bring them out and wind them around the dowel, you first sand the lacquer off so that when you wind these and then uh, you fix them at the end with a drop of epoxy so it won't come unwound, what you have is a live contact surface. This whole thing on both sides is a pickup. On this side, you, you paint the black stripe, uh, which is replacing the insulation. It can be done with permanent uh, marker or acrylic paint. And the purpose of that is to break the electrical circuit so that the magnetic field in the coil collapses and the magnet coasts through, gets to the next point, picks up current again, the magnetic field is regenerated and that pushes the magnet and it continues to spin. If you don't have that on the primary coil, it just locks into the permanent magnet uh, field and sits there and vibrates. You can see this in detail on the uh, motor page because this form of the primary coil is as the rotor of a motor. The other thing about this coil is that it's uh, relatively simple for a teacher to make. It's in fact so simple that in the elementary level, a child can make their own coil. So we'll put that down and pick this up. In this form, the primary coil is used as an electromagnet. Uh, the magnet wire is wrapped around the bobbin. Uh, this time the wires, the leads come out through holes in the top, and they are literally sewn into adjustable Velcro straps. And then we scrape the lacquer off the outside so that this is a live contact. The child is going to slip her fingers in to this so that these are finger switches. She's going to squeeze these on the ends of a battery, and that's how you turn on and off uh, the coil, the electromagnet. And you're going to use it to pick things up and drop them in another place. And you can see that in detail on the electromagnet page. I'll set that down. The point that I want to make here about the primary coil is this. In our electromechanical and electronic culture, this object, this phenomenon, is as important as the lever or the wheel. This gives the child access to concrete experience of and the ability to reproduce the intersection between a magnetic field and an electrical current. It's an absolutely primary lesson. The child needs to know it. This is how you show it. This is a primary coil.